Kind of a wet set, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Does it make your set different when the audience is wet, when the weather is awful, when there's thunder and lightning? I think the lightning was kind of cool, but other than that, it was, you know, it was the same as a big normal rock show with 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 the stage lights coming from God, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> now tell me, Chris, um, the noise that you make, or is noise the wrong word? The noise that you make does fit to this weather. Yeah, I think so. I think noise is the perfect word. But what do you want to reach with this noise? Do you want to spread aggression? Um, no, not really. I just want to make some sounds that maybe people might not hear the rest of the day. What is so attractive to making this sound? Um, it's fun. It's like a, a little kid with a really big toy. Okay, it's fun, but it's so loud. If you, why, are you saying you don't like it? Yeah, well, I like it. Russell no, no, Gates. come on. Don't, he's lying to people. He's lying. He's well, no, 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 no. Um, I like some parts of it, but ah. it's but it's so loud all over. It's constantly loud. I know. Can you believe it? 
Huh? How difficult is it to put lyrics in a song like this? It's easy. I mean, it's it's no different than putting lyrics over a, a soft song, really. You just take the mood of the music and, and uh, write whatever inspires you first. You uh, toured in America with Guns N' Roses and Skid Row as well. Uh -huh. What did you learn from them? Um, how to have good uh, big light shows and uh, lots of things that blow up on stage. <laughs> Yeah, but, well, I mean musically. Musically? I don't think I learned anything from anyone musically. Them or anyone else. No one? No. Uh, Mr. Jimi Hendrix? Mr. Jimi Hendrix? No, not really. No? I wish I could. I've tried. Sit around Tell me, you're from Seattle, and yeah. Jimi Hendrix came from Seattle as well. Yeah, but um, when he was playing in clubs in Seattle, I was probably about two years old, so I didn't hang with him much. Um, I wish I could have spent some time with him, but... His career wasn't really based in Seattle anyway. I mean, he he grew up there, but when he was when he was a star, he he didn't live there. But there's not any relationship between a kid from Seattle like you uh -huh. and a kid from Seattle like Jimi Hendrix. Yeah, there is one. In Guitars. That, no, the, his parents live in Seattle, and so do mine. That's it. Okay. Well, right. Thank All right. you very much, and see you, you soon. Bye bye. Thank you. Good night. Bye bye. Ik zal het even kort vertalen. Chris Coleman, zanger van uh, Soundgarden. Ik zei dus, ja, jullie maken lawaai. Ik heb het... It's not like it's a, this magical bottomless pit of great bands or anything. I mean, there's plenty of bad bands coming out of Seattle, too. There's so much media attention on it that... Uh... They're expecting all this great stuff to keep flourishing from Seattle, and it's probably, you know, had its had its day. Yeah, I'm sure eventually, course. eventually, if you say you're a band from Seattle, people will be less likely to want to hear about yeah. you than, than more likely. It's trendy now, which is a really bad thing to be from Seattle, you know. Yeah, if you're if you're going to be in fashion, at one point you're going to be out of fashion. At another point, there was no like. The, there's no pressure put on us by the label to do anything or write any particular kind of record. Um, there were, I mean, we, we, both Louder Than Love and Bad Motorfinger, and even Temple of the Dog, for that matter, were all records made by us, you know, with no one, you know, trying to impress upon us any guidelines other than us. We didn't come out with like a, a an incredibly commercial record and then then go out and tour with Guns N' Roses. You know, we came out with with our record as it is, which isn't a commercial record, and toured with a band like that. And I think that people know, as long as you're doing what you want to do, that who you're playing in front of and who you're playing with isn't as important. And and to us, I mean, considering how much we've toured and how long we've been a band, it was important to us to do something different and play in front of new people. Thank <laughs> you.